Hey everybody, here looking at my Acer Aspire 1 netbook. This is my ZG5 netbook. I also have a 532H netbook kicking around. This netbook here is my original Aspire 1 netbook that I got brand new for Christmas back in 2008. And it currently has Windows Vista Home Premium loaded onto it. I got the memory maxed out at the supposedly maximum 1.5 gigabytes. This particular netbook has 512 megabytes of solder on memory and one sodium slot which supposedly can only take up to one gigabyte of memory. It also has a 120 gigabyte 7200 RPM hard drive, not a 5400 RPM drive. And if I go to Windows Update, you can see here it says Windows can't check for updates. And we are connected to the internet. For example, if I try to check for updates, it will fail. So what we're going to do is we're going to install a product called Legacy Update. So I think I've already got it downloaded on here. Yep, there it is. But what we'll do is we'll go to the Legacy Update website. which is LegacyUpdate.net and you can see that the website very much mimics the Windows XP Windows Update web page. Of course Windows XP and older version of Windows Windows Update was done through a website unlike Vista and later which actually do it through the control panel. So it was formed to provide updates for Windows XP along with Windows Vista and Windows 7 and now Windows 8.1. Now the thing is Microsoft has discontinued supporting these operating systems. However, the thing is when you have, if you're working with an old computer and you decide to install one of these older versions of Windows you'll end up in a situation where we are right here where Windows Update fails to work. So Legacy Update is there to um, provide um, the ability for uh, the OS to be able to check for updates and be able to download and install what updates are out there. So there are some videos out there that talk about different uh, versions of Windows using this but for this video we'll be using Windows Vista. So what we're going to do is we would download the file which is right there and then we will go ahead and run this. Now the thing is I actually tried this already but there was some issues and I think I had to do with this netbook losing its date and time. The CMOS battery is bad in this thing and I had to manually set the date and time. So we shall see. So right here you can see it wants to install Windows Vista Post Service Pack 2 updates along with the Windows Update Agent Update and you have the option to inst uh, update root certificate store and install legacy update. So if you don't have Vista Service Pack 2 it will most likely have you install Service Pack 2. So. That being said, we're going to select install and it's going to install these updates. Okay, so it just finished running its um, it just finished running its installation. So you can actually check for updates here, kind of like on Windows XP, or 
we should be able to use the built-in Windows Update function in the control panel to check for updates. Okay, so it finally uh, finished looking for updates, and of course there's a bunch. So, this looks very familiar to the Windows XP style Windows Update website. Now, the built-in Windows Update just kept hunting and hunting and hunting. So, probably we need to install some additional updates before that begins to work. And you can see there's a whole bunch of updates that are needed. You can see there's also optional updates. And we've even got a couple of drivers, so we're going to select these two drivers here. So we'll go ahead and um, let this install the important stuff first, which of course this will take a while, so. Let it do its thing. Okay, so you can see that <clears throat> this thing has been downloading updates and well, I've actually been letting it run for like a day now. And something is just definitely using that CPU. But uh, so yeah, it looks like, of course, Legacy Update is doing its thing. Interesting, though, how it's using, of course, the classic Windows XP style interface here. If we go to Windows Update, well, we got we got that right there, but, for example, if I go to Control Panel, and if I go to Windows Update, let's see what we have. Probably a prompt then uh, restart the computer. Yep. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit restart now. And this thing should finish up installing updates. So, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this does not make a unsupported operating system supported again. It just allows the operating system, like Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7, to be able to fetch updates that were available and also any updates that Microsoft were to happen to issue. And of course, for example, when major exploits were found, sometimes Microsoft would break their own rules and provide emergency security fixes for Windows XP. So anyways, I think about rest up for this video. So that is a look at Legacy Update and how it can be used to help your old system or your computer running an unsupported version of Windows be able to get updates at least to what's out there. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Leave a comment, subscribe to QQ channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following QQ Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.